Hello, I'm Kendall Felson. Uh, we're here to show you our new shoots we just came out with. Uh, we started coming out with these uh, dual side squeeze shoots, and uh, and we changed the shoots, then we had to change the head gate. So we kind of one thing added on to something else. We've been trying to send out some pictures to some of our dealers, kind of people letting know what we're doing and what changes we're going for. And I'll just kind of give you a quick overview, kind of what we're doing. Is uh, first of all, we had to change, we had to change the shoots, we had to change your head gate, we changed your head gate, we had to change the manual head gate. So we had a, quite a few changes, and uh, so I'll just kind of go over some, a few of them with you. We did make our head gate a little wider, and we also made some more width. About we had about three more inches here uh, for your bulls to get you uh, a little more width on the animal's neck. And uh, so I'll kind of go over how the head gate works. So people always question how does the self catching head gate work. And uh, first of all, you just gotta adjust it to accommodate the animal's neck right in here, or however wide their neck is. Then you gotta push it down. Push that back out here. There's actually a stop right over here. I'll kind of show you that in just a few seconds. And it's just gonna set the head gate back where the head, the animal's head will pass through there. Catch your shoulder blades, and then lock shut. You don't want it too wide. If you get too wide, you're gonna hip lock. You the head will pass through there. The shoulder blades will pass through there. And the next, next uh, widest thing is the hip, and you hip lock. And, uh, and so with our V-squeeze shoots, uh, we had a little trouble with that. So with the dual side squeeze, we took care of all those troubles right there. Uh, but what you're going to do is, uh, I'll reset it again. It's going to set. The animal's going to come here, hit the shoulder blades, lock shut. In order to release it, you got to just kind of lift up, come on through. And then to set it back again, if the animal passes through, Got it back for the next animal, ready to go. Uh, I will show you this on the on the head gate. This is your stop right here. If you see this, what the, in order to adjust it, you're gonna take a three-quarter inch wrench, and you're gonna have to just uh, loosen it. You gotta adjust it high in and out on uh, different uh, as far as the width of the animal. If you take it all the way out, it's going to uh, people are gonna think okay, take the stop all the way out, and what's gonna happen is. Uh, for horn animals, we got it as far as wide as it'll go right here before it breaks center. So if you just take this stop out right, right here, this side will break center. And uh, so like I say, if you get one hip locked, you can actually loosen that or take it all the way out. You're going to get another six, eight more inches. Uh, but you're going to have a nice wide opening with just the stop in there. You got uh, quite a wide opening right in there. And so, but if you did take the stop all the way out, this side will go ahead and break another six more inches. If you need more than that, you can loosen this. It'll just sit here and free wheel back and forth. And so, uh, but I think we're, we're pretty good shape just with that. Like I said, easy catch right there. Lock shut and go from there. Uh, if you whip around the side here, I'll kind of show you how our side works. Uh, what we do is we have the, uh, this is the tailgate back here. You just kind of push down here, locks it down real easy. Back, back in there, and uh, it does like very, very easy to do that. You can walk it back here, and you can just push it shut. Very, very simple. Uh, we do our U bars. I'll just kind of pull out, and you can also lift them, take them out if you want to. Just kind of put them to get them in your way, and uh, they just kind of drop back in there. If I can hit the hole here, you know what I mean? You got the uh, bottom latches. Open those all the way up. Got easy access there on both sides. You also have a, I'll show this. This is our uh, squeeze system right here. And what we do is we have a hydraulic cylinder and a hydraulic a little ball valve here. And what you actually do is when you squeeze it up, uh, you don't have to give you that extra little squeeze to release them. All you gotta do is flip the ball valve and it's just gonna open up all the way. Uh, we also got away with our handle being up here and uh, gets a little, when you get old my age, you know, rotator cup gets a little worn out there. So I get a little weight and I gotta put my body behind it. So I just gotta grab it, hold here, squeeze it in there, and uh, it'll squeeze and then just keeps them backing up. Squeeze a little bit more, just keeps them backing up. In order to release it, all you gotta do is just push this down, squeeze it in, ready to go for the next animal. Uh, we did have some deals with this chain, uh, that's our stop. Uh, Let's say you're setting it for calves right there, a little narrower. And uh, so all you do is uh, come up here and uh, adjust this chain. 
where it needs to be. So once you squeeze it up, and, uh, and once you squeeze it up, when you release it, you don't have to worry about it opening up all the way again, the hole all the way back. But it's gonna, it'll just stop right back there. All you gotta do is set it for squeeze, push this down, squeeze it, and they came back up. Stops right there. Release it, push this, this comes back open. Put a big back here, bigger animals again. Put this open. Up this chain back here. And you go back to the whatever needs to be there. A little rubber deal that's kind of quiet everything down. We also have butt stops here. Push this back in. Right here, pull this pin out. Just stick around these holes here. Just ratchet on forward. Just keeps animals backing up. We do also have brisket bar inside there. Keeps animals from coming down on you. And it works real well. If we went back around here on the other side, we do have a <coughs> side access door right here. You're just going to pull this. And you have full access to your uh, animals come out the side. So I think you have plenty of room on the coming out the front, but if you have one that come out the side, you have easy access. We do have rubber back here on the back. Uh, we start, the first one we started out with, which is over there, is sort of steel, and then with rubber, and it works real well. And 